guys hope all is well with you guys welcome back to this uh, channel it's all about po positivity how are you guys how have you been it's been a long time since i posted but i thank god that we are all alive and uh, we are still here in this pandemic and uh, looking around at my environment i hope all of us are adhering to the covid precautionary measures to curb the spread of covid so much has happened to the world and we were caught unawares you know and unprepared and this has really caused unimaginable sufferings around the world. We have lost so many lives. And looking at the previous histories, the world has always overcome this. Look at the Spanish flu. We overcame. And even this one, positively, we are going to overcome. So we stay positive and look forward to a beautiful life in the near future. And this COVID, you know, has led to so many things in the entire world. We had so many companies... Uh, you know retrenching people laying off stuff and i saw my friends being laid off a lot of friends that we were working with my colleagues they were laid off why because the company had to cut, cut down on costs to be able to survive and for this reason it it occurred to me that hey joy why what will happen if you are to lose your job and something came into my mind out of this reasoning i began thinking of business ideas and skills that i could do or put into action to bring me income and one of them was not even one i have uh, skills in embroidery and sewing in knitting in crocheting all these things i was able i can do them so i decided the first thing i can do is to look for a sewing machine and start putting my skills into action but before uh, let me just show you what helped me to uh, actually what helped me to buy my first sewing machine as a beginner you know choosing a right machine can be very overwhelming and but with focus right information knowledge and the right mind you will get the best out of your money so these are the tips to get started first thing you have to do is to ask yourself do you love what you you are getting into if it's sewing do you love it if it's painting do you love it second question is Consider first the reasons you want a sewing machine if you're going for the sewing machine or whatever equipment you're going to buy. Third, what projects would you want to do with the machine? Is it embroidery? Is it quilting? Is it sewing? Is it knitting? Is it mending or alterations of uh, other people's clothes or uh, your neighbors or your friends? The fourth thing is, can you substitute whatever you love into the main source of your income, especially if you're laid off? Now, the below are the, the, the whatever I'm going to mention now are the tips that guided me into choosing and eventually buying my first sewing machine. First thing I did was I did detailed research and I shopped around online. There are so many sewing machine types, and the quality range from very basic to very complicated ones that even me i'll not be able to uh to handle them unless i have training while doing my research i narrowed my i narrowed them to two to three machines just to get a glimpse of what i wanted when you do this online research will give you ideas and reviews of what is available in the market not only price was but what is best for you when you start out as a beginner Number two is the cost. What is your budget for the machine? Do you have the required resources for the machine? How are you going to fund for that machine that you really want? Do you, are you ready for a new one or an old one? Or a used, sorry, not an old one, a used machine. You need to choose a machine that will give you most value of your money. Choosing a machine that is good and durable will be a plus to your home business number three does the machine come with accessories because some machines will come without accessories but and some will come with accessories and this additional cost to the entire amount that you're going to spend on the machine and are these accessories available locally now when i was choosing my machine i looked around in dubai we have so many uh, varieties of machines we have singer we have uh, a brother we have so many 
So I narrowed down to only two because growing up I knew about Singer, I knew about Brother. So those are the brands that I went for. And they are a little bit affordable. So I went for Brother because also the accessories are easy to get. The fourth very important one is what type of fabric are you going to sew? Is it the light or dense, uh, dense, uh, dense uh, fabric that you're going to make? You know, some machines can't sew denim. Denim is jeans. It, it's very heavy. It can't sew some. Uh, some machines can't sew denim. So it's very important that you check the weight of the fabric that you that your machine will will, will be able to uh, to sew. Number five, what type of sewing machine you want and what brand? Type, I mean uh, mechanical or computerized. From the research that I did, computerized machines have LCD display and a little sophisticated compared to the mechanical ones. They are also a bit expensive even though they, they are more advanced and have uh, more features. My machine that I took is a computerized machine. It has LCD, it has uh, so many things. It has 150 stitches. And I'm able to practice all the time to uh, at least to get a feel of the machine. Also, the computerized machines, they come with, some of them come with auto threading, stop and start buttons, automatic buttonhole, a wide variety of stitch length, and wide selection of stitches. I haven't been able to dem uh, have a demonstration on mechanical machines, so I won't speak about them so much. But you do your research when you, you are looking for a machine. Do your research and find out what works for you. Number six, what do you want the machine to do for you? One of the key things to consider when buying a sewing machine is the number of stitches that are available and the designs and the machines the designs on the machine and what projects you're going to do number seven do you plan taking sewing lessons in future as i started before as i mentioned earlier i said that there are some machines that are very complicated especially if you want to advance to more complicated like the embroidery machines you need to go for lessons or alternatively you can self uh, study on your own look in youtube there's so many uh, people teaching others how to sew, how to do so many things. You can do the same. But me, in future, I plan to go for a sewing lesson because I know it will benefit me, especially if I want to uh, continue or grow my business. Now, once you've bought your machine, take time to practice. Buy fabric, buy small accessories like thread, um, Bobby and all those things and practice take time it can take even one year to set up your business take time to do all these things take time take time the last one is maintenance of your machine when you have problems with the machine are you able to take it back to the showroom where you bought it so that they can fix it for you or you will be able to do it for yourself check all these things okay